Okay guys, so today in this video tutorial we will learn about how to interface the weight scale or weight sensor with that of ESP32. So how we can do that? First of all we need to open the Google and write VOCV. So VOCV is our online simulator on which you can simulate every type of electronics and electrical circuits okay so now we can search for our esp32 microcontroller this is our esp32 now we have opened it out it can take some seconds and now on right hand side it is our circuit window and on the left hand side it is our coding window so now apart from esp32 we also need to go for hx711 load cell okay and we will click on 5 kg load cell so this is our load cell here you can see that it has four pins one is ground one is dt one is sck and one is vcc obviously the vcc must be connected with that of 3.3 volt of esp32 ground with that of ground pin of esp32 what about dt pin okay dt or data out pin must be connected with the pin number d2 of esp32 you can change the pin if you want okay but obviously if you will change it in the hardware you must have to change inside the coding now we will go for sck and uh, we will connect it with the d4 now our circuit part has been completed now we will come towards our coding part now in library file first we have to include one library that is called as hash include h x h x 711.h so this is our sensor library okay so obviously we have to import it inside the library manager if you will get it it is good okay but uh, yeah yeah there it is okay hx so so we can include it out like this now we have included our library now we after this has been done we will assign some names to the pins of the esp32 okay now we will write c-o-n-s-t and i-n-t now what is this constant you you must be familiar with the data types and cause uh, int simple means that uh, we we can we we want to declare two variables or 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 one variable with that of integer data type okay obviously we are going to define two variables so we will write here constant two times okay so this is first and this is second so now we will write ld underscore cell okay and we will write is equal to 2 now what is this actually wherever we will write ld underscore cell it simply means 2 means that now we have given the name of ld underscore cell to the pin number 2 of esp32 now we will write okay wait uh, we have already written constant and here we will write uh, ld underscore sck is equal to 4 now wherever we will uh, we, we will want to address the pin number 4 of esp32 we can write ld underscore sck and it simply means pin number 4 of esp32 now this has been done we will go to our wide setup and here it is written serial dot begin 115200 means that it is the baud rate okay now we will write a function that is called a scale and we will write scale dot begin now what is this 
scale dot begin is a function scale is a class and begin is a function and dot operator simply means that begin function belongs to this scale class we are not going to the complexities you just uh, you 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 just know or, or you must know that uh, this dot begin function is actually the part of a measure class which is called a scale and this is dot operator which will uh, concatenate both of these things okay or associate one with this with this scale class and here we will write uh, this thing ld underscore cell control c first in the parameter bracket and then we will write ld underscore sck so this is the thing load underscore cell and load underscore sck now what is this thing now now we have passed the two parameters means that two and four because we want to start or initialize the scale so we have to write this function with two parameters these are actually the input things which are just feed it to the function and function will obviously execute some sort of operations now this has been done we will go to the while loop now we will write if condition if scale dot is if scale dot is underscore ready now again this is a function this is a function of our what's called as the uh, uh, library that if scale is ready then we will uh, execute all the instructions within these two brackets so here we will write scale dot set underscore scale again is ready scale is a class and is ready is its function and simply obviously from the name it is clear that is ready function will determine either the scale is ready or not and if the scale is ready then all these statements within these two brackets will get executed and here it is written scale dot set scale okay scale dot set scale and here we write uh, serial dot print ln dot print okay ln tier tier starts remove weights now what what is meant by tier simply means that because obviously there is uh, some because there is some sort of uh, uh, built-in pressure on the weight scale which obviously consists of its own body so uh, or if we have some sort of weight on it we need to remove it out and then it will start uh, like it, it will be initialized like okay so so we have to remove some weights okay to remove weights and you need to remove all the weights then we we, we have a delay of 5000 seconds delay of 5000 seconds and then we will write scale dot tear scale dot tear and this thing okay again okay now this tear function will start tear the scale scale dot tear and then we will write okay tear done seal dot print land which is real serial dot print ln tear done tear tear done okay so uh, and and it must be inside the these two comma brackets uh, these two commas double quotes okay so tear done now we will write again put weight seal dot print ln now put weight now put weight now after the tearing is done we can put some sort of weight on the scale 
and again delay of 5000 seconds so we will write like this delay of 5000 oh we have written and 5000 simply means that 5 seconds because here it is just uh, representing the milliseconds and here we will write a long reading okay long reading now what is this thing reading is the variable name and long is its type means that it can store a decimal and some long numbers okay long integers long size integers inside this variable which uh, whose name is reading so long reading okay now we will write uh, is equal to scale dot get scale dot scale dot get okay scale dot get underscore units okay oh sorry scale dot get underscore underscore units of 10 scale dot get underscore units of 10 and we will write uh, serial dot print ln and here we will write reading okay now okay now we will write we will run our code and obviously it will take some time scale was not declared in this scope so wait let me let me see what it is saying hx 711.h so so they said scale dot begin okay we have to go for library manager and here we will write uh, hx 71111 okay so here okay now one more thing that we have left is that we have declared we have to declare the scale is of hx711 object okay this is uh, we have to write here okay it is it is always necessary so now we will write we will run the simulation and we will see that either now hopefully this time it will run properly now it, it is okay here remove weights okay yeah it's uh we have removed all weights now put weight now we have written 1.34 kg okay and now we will see it says 562 okay so now again to remove weights again we will make it zero and now i will put for 5 kg full okay till done so 1707 okay now we will calibrate it out okay so what we need to do is to okay now we have got the value right value that is 14 419.8 okay so uh we we have to remove click on remove the weights and now they say till done and now i will write 2.62 so it is oh wait well they said remove weights okay first of all you need to remove the weights and when it has written till done then we will write now put weight and we have written 3.28 kg now oh, it is right okay now remove weights we have removed the weights 
and we have to wait for tear down now put weight so we will write uh, 1.03 kg so it is 1.03 kg so hopefully you got the concept that how you can simulate or interface a weight scale that is hx711 load cell with date of esp32 so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.